So we've had a lot of snow this year, but it's not like it is unprecedented snow. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhaven explains why you need to look back to October to truly understand what's happening. The storm train has hit the high country with wave after wave of snow and very little break in between, but that's just one reason we're seeing historic avalanches. To get to the source of the avalanche problem, the Colorado Avalanche Information Center says we have to turn back the clocks to October. Record early season snow in the high country did not melt off like it usually does. During the cold weather, they get really weak. So that ends up being a really poor foundation for all the subsequent snow that we stacked up on top. And that snow came in big through December, but then add a few dry spells in January to the mix. Those clear days that skiers like to call bluebird are catalysts for a drastic freeze thaw cycle. And then they're buried by snow in February and March. So those have been causing problems, but we're also seeing avalanches break down to the ground now. There's just so much snow that it's overwhelming everything. The CIAC says another factor may be less wind events this year. High winds can load the tops of the slopes and cause the weight of the snow to be unbalanced. That would normally trigger more frequent smaller avalanches between storms. Instead, the mountains have essentially been holding onto the snow for something big. And finally, add the type of winter storms. Instead of big, quick hitting storms, we have seen a pattern develop several times that we call atmospheric rivers, where the jet stream delivers a steady flow of moisture to the mountains that can last two to three days. That prevents proper assessment of the snowpack, and by the time CDOT can start mitigating slide paths, it's too late. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen for next. One of the most interesting things I've heard today is that the avalanches are, are tracked year by year, individual slides in the same way that we remember the sizes and magnitudes of, of earthquakes or hurricanes or the acreage of fires, things like that. So they can tell you when a slide comes down how it compares to past years. One of the slides that we saw earlier this week along US 40, they had not seen a slide that large in that spot since 1957.